Television Entertainment. I'm Backdrop Jamie, the hostess oh, with the What's most up, breasts. Guys? I'm Joshua Danger. I'm just kidding. Why do you got stuff that block you off? Huh? See, I got this letter from Razakel. Okay. Saying, <laughs> vinyl is coming separately. Thank you so much for your order. Support. Razakel. Hold on, homie. That's I'm actually. I, that's because I'm going to go and get on Twitch so I can see the chat and see what we're doing. Yeah, I'm getting on Twitch also. Hello. How are you doing? There we go. I'm Joshua Danger. I'm going to pull up the Twitch. There we go. There we go. <laughs> now that I'm on here, I can share it. Okay, so. What's up, Batgirl? What are you doing? Why are you talking like that? Because I feel like I'm Batman. You're not Batman. Okay, I'm going to show Batman. you guys something that I bought that's really freaking cool. I wanted to support Raza Kel because she's my favorite rapper, and here we go. Yeah. I have another one, but I don't have it with me because it's on my uh, lanyard for work. I don't know what I did with that. <clears throat> Oh, that's cool, dude. Oh, you like my cup, guys? I got a Force Awakenings cup. Yeah. I, I like to drink water. I like to drink water out of these cheap 88 cent plastic cups that Goodwill tries to charge a dollar for. Uh, God, I got itchy rash syndrome. I'll buy them at Walmart or like the Dollar Tree. I bought that one at the Dollar Tree. And yes, guys, this is actually a background image. This is not actually my apartment. You just want <laughs> to look like that. You're, you just want to block off your dirty bedroom. Yeah, I really do, actually. <laughs> um, I feel like my makeup looked good today. Like it wasn't just a simple, simple look. I wanted to go for simple. Just something to accent my eyes and get oh, my nice. eyebrows to look good, decent. I, I bought some serum stuff. No, got the ladies. I bought this serum stuff that you're supposed to put on your eyelashes and eyebrows, and it's supposed to make them grow. I'm gonna try it, and I'll give you, and I'll give you guys a 30-day uh, update when I get it and use it for 30 days. Here we go. That's spicy. Ooh, I finally ordered my rest <laughs> of my records. Yeah. Hi. What's up, Batgirl? There you go. What's up? How you doing? So what have you been up to, Twisty? How much What's have you listened to that new record I bought you? Oh, I fucking love it. I listened to the shit out of that record you bought me. He bought me the dark record that I wanted. It's Dark is a band that Dolores O'Royden, Andy Rourke, and Ole something or other did. And it spells, it, the name comes from their names. Their names are make up dark. Okay. Because the D, D for Dolores is the D. Then Andy Rourke is the A and the K, R. And then the K is for the girl's, the third person, the other girl's last name. I think it's a girl. The second person's a, the third person's a girl. And it's a really <laughs> fucking awesome album. Yeah. That's cool. I was really impressed with that album. That's awesome, homie. Um, I'm doing a vinyl haul next month. Or... At the end of the month, when I get my three vinyl that I ordered. Actually, I got four uh, vinyls coming in the mail this month. After that, I'll be able to do my vinyl haul, and it's going to be a big one this time. <laughs> and you'll see that I kind of went kind of, I went kind of female. Oh, my oriented. God. I went kind of female oriented. Oh, my God. I definitely got Joe on board with that one. Oh, and I got a letter from Raza Kel. My vinyl's coming separately, and thanks so much for her, her. 
my support, and yes, I do support Raza Cal. I seen this down in there, and I wasn't sure what it was. What? I didn't notice the letter she wrote me. By the way, old. Jamie, did you, did you see um? Did what? you see um? Did you see my new emblem? Did I see, um, oh fuck! God damn it! Did you see my new emblem? No. My new face on my uh my Twitter. No. Picture or not Twitter picture? Twitch picture. Profile oh. pic. So how was everybody's Christmas, guys? We had a good Christmas. I didn't get a lot for Christmas, but what I did get was really good. I'll show you what my sister got me, Josh. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, this is it. So. This is a joke. So, Batgirl, how's your own? I want to show you this. There you go. Okay. That's oh, my... shit. Are you paying attention? This God is what damn. my sister got me. The thing is fucking hideous. Whatever. You're mean. That is fucking trolly. You're trolling me now. I said this. I, this is what she got me. Well, you know what they say about the new Joshua D. I like it. So quit being mean. You know, I got punched in the throat. I like it. I got so quit punched being in the throat the other day. And I was wrestling. And I got smacked in the head. Mariah Carey popper, so be quiet. And I think I have a right to be a troll. Because I got smacked in the head with a kendo stick. And I got punched in the throat. That was rude. Rude ass. What was rude? Well, that's hideous. I'm just fucking with you. Well, that wasn't very you nice. You obviously know I'm fucking with you, Jamie. Well, that wasn't very nice. So, I got that in a cup that, in, in a box of chocolates in a, in a cup that says, don't make me use my Mariah voice. Yeah. <laughs> Don't make me use my corpse daddy voice. You sound like you've been smoking. You sound like you're about ready to lose your lungs. Yeah, I'm about to. I got punched in the throat the other night. So guys. And I got backed in the head with a tin got good news. I got good news the other day. Or a while back. I was going through I was going through my cords and headphone box. And look what I found. My bracelet that I thought I lost. My, my peace sign bracelet that I absolutely love. So now I can wear my peace sign Woo! bracelet when I get around to it. Yeah. How about you? Fight the power. What? Fight the power? You know, I found out, I found my other vanilla lip gloss. Yeah. I have both That's of them in my coat pocket for work. And, and I got, I got hemp seed oil. The balm that's really good. Lip, lip. What? Hemp seed Did you oil. you say lip. hemp seed lip balm? Yeah, it's called it's from Hemp's and it's really good. It really moisturizes your lips. Oh my god. <laughs> In Aquaphor's Aquaphor, Oh my god. That that's fucking epic. And Aquaphor is my addiction. I keep one here and Aquaphor lip balm is lip um ointment is really ex kind of expensive. <laughs> like five dollars uh, but it's worth it arms daddy i've been drinking water out of this all day i mean all night because my lips get my mouth is dry 
From taking that medicine, my mouth is dry. But that medicine <laughs> I bought, that medicine I bought at Rite Aid, family wellness medicine, or not Rite Aid, but um, Family Dollar really <laughs> works good. But it almost works better than the Mucosin X. Yeah. I've That's noticed I ain't coughing as bad as I was. Yes, I love it. So I'm getting a new microphone, guys. I'm getting some new stuff for my gaming, and when I do, I'm going to chirp, game. Chirp. chirp, chirp. <laughs> so, what you guys is um. So we uh. I didn't finish it. I never did finish that movie. What movie? The little New Mutants. Oh, no shit. You yeah, didn't but do you guys like that? my new gaming chair? I got an uh, Outroad, I think. I'll tell you what brand it is here in a second. It's an Hour it. Toad. Huh? It's an Hour Toad. No, it's not. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it from now on. Because it's spelled like Outroad, but Our Toad. Our Toad! Which, I, I bought a headset about them, actually a little before Christmas time, that I've actually gotten used to. That I'm, I'm used to wearing it, like, night and day. He's, like, obsessed with this. He needs to get a pair, a pair of headphones to use for listening to music, a pair of headphones for gaming on his PC, and a pair of headphones for gaming on his Xbox. Yeah. Like I do. I do. Okay, the chair is an Outroad gaming chair, office desk chair, ergonomic backrest and seat height adjustment, recliner swivel rocker with headrest and lumbar pillow support eSports chair pink and I paid 140 bucks for it worth every penny and it is very very comfortable and uh, I'm going to add this chair to my list on my arm and then I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put my list in the comments so you guys can go look it up if you guys are interested in looking for it anything that I use in my gaming anything that I use in my setup or use on a daily basis or used a lot that I bought from Amazon that I that I have I have it on my list so you guys can buy it things that I suggest and J Twisted J has one too what do I have and Joshua Danger has a list too on Amazon Actually, my chair yeah. is 130 Oh, my chair went down $10. That's awesome. But you still got to pay $10 shipping. But you know what I'm going to do? I, I'm probably going to... I'm like, one of these next two paychecks, if I don't use my stimulus, I'm definitely going to be buying me a new um, mic. Chair. chair and mic. He wants to buy a desk, a chair, and a mic. Well, if I don't get, if I don't get to, if I, if I don't spend my stimulus, I'm going to be buying those all separately over the next several weeks. He's going to have his dad get that $1,200. Just have him get your other stimulus out if you won't, do, if you don't get to do that. Yeah, well, like I said, I, I'm going like to be. I said that chair was worth the money. Oh, I totally agree. Okay. Because um, my back doesn't, my legs don't hurt anymore when I sit here too long. Yeah. I got sick of my legs hurting. I'm going to put this chair down by my computer. Let's go. Okay, I got this, like, pad thing on, down here, down here, that you put your, like, keyboard and mouse on. And it's really, really nice and long. And it's like blush pink. So I wanted this to be as close to blush pink. And I got like this. It's a little bit dirty, but mouse pad. This Paris. So everything's like 
a light blush pink, and then all my mouse and keyboard are white, so I wanted to keep with lighter pink. So I thought this would okay. match. So, Batgirl, you do not know when I when I bought my headset, uh, I actually did buy a keyboard slash mouse pad. I'm actually going to show you guys what I bought. I like this. This was okay. about a eh, little bit before Christmas. I got a long pad on mine. So I'm actually going to. This is what I'm using. I can't see it. You got to turn that back thing off because it's blocking everything off. Oh, shit. Yeah. You can't see anything when you do want to do stuff like that. Hold on. Yep, I got to go into Skype and do that real quick. No. Cancel that. If you want to know what kind of record player either okay. of us have, a stereo, what we That's use what for I record bought. Player, our favorite records we bought, what? I bought a Rocket Taito Control. Matt. No, I got a great big one that fits your whole desk. Well, I only went with a medium because it was like next best thing. Because it keeps your desk from getting, um, if, if it's not real wood, your desk will get bubbles on it and it'll be a hard surface and then your mouse won't work good on it. Yeah. But the, my favorite records that I bought on Amazon are, are listed and my TVs are listed. Even though I didn't, buy, if I didn't buy them on Amazon, but if you can buy them on Amazon, I put a stuff up there like my camera, tripods I use, um, games, the systems that I bought on Amazon, or that you can buy on Amazon, my hard drive, stuff like that, my coffee pot, what kind of a uh, toaster, my 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 ice cube tray that I freaking love, my blender I use. The calendar thing I bought, my vacuum, all kinds of stuff. These little bins I bought for storage, I put those up there because those are really convenient. My toothbrushes that I use, the lighter I use, all kinds of stuff is, that I love, that I use on an on a everyday basis is up here. The stuff that I use the most. So I wanted to put them up there so you guys could go buy that same stuff because I recommend it because it's good stuff. And some of it I've repurchased and some of it I haven't. But I did love it when I had it. This eyeshadow that's up here I don't use anymore. But I did love it when I had it. But I gave it away to my cousin's daughter. She didn't have no makeup. So I wanted to be generous. Okay. And give stuff away. Because that's the type of person I am. Because I haven't, I haven't got to see her because of COVID. But... As soon as COVID's gone, we'll probably go see her. And I want to see the new baby. That's my cousin's new grand baby. You're trying to make that look like your apartment. Yep, definitely. Gladly. I'm you know gladly my apartment's smaller than the back room at Goodwill. Honestly, yes, I would agree. But, you know, honestly, I'm just using this as a background. You know, if you even if you even if you're in an apartment the size of mine, it would be good. It'd be better than living in that. It'd be better than that tiny bedroom you got. Eh, it's it's what it is. But you could make that bedroom usable. Oh, I know. Too bad you didn't just have a futon in there instead of that bed. You mean that couch? Yeah, that couch. Because then you could pull it out, sleep on it, and then push it back up. It'd probably take up less room. Futons take up less room. Because they take up the room of a... Uh, uh, because they take up the room of a... Uh, uh, Twin size bed instead of a full size couch. Yeah. Well, I've actually thought about doing that, but. Yeah, well, that you use a $1,200 stimulus you got last year, you could yeah, do all well, that. That would be awesome. Yeah.
there's a lot of people. If you guys don't have live me, get live me. It's great. Yes, I, I actually I've got it on both my phones that I'm I use. I'm on there is YT Batgirl Jamie with the broken heart emoji, and that's my main account. I have other, a regular one that just says Batgirl Jamie, but that account because they don't associate with Facebook anymore. So, and I have a hundred coins on that account that I never got to spend, but I won't be able to. Okay, Blakey, Blakey eats steaky. Huh. Really? Oh, I'm just looking at the recommended channels. And I was like, oh, fuck. You know, honestly, if I had an apartment that looked like that, and like the background of this. I would not want an apartment. That would be so fucking I would not tacky. want an apartment that looks like that. Uh, I the would be like, almost oh, shit, Frisbees. The colors are shit. The colors are shitty. They're the shits. They're shitty. It they looks look like, shit. It looks like a fucking... Looks like somebody threw up in it. It looks like a fucking I unicorn. I could decorate it. I could decorate it. looks like it. unicorn vomit. I could decorate an apartment better than that. Oh, come on. looks like unicorn vomit. For one thing, I would not have ugly, hideous teal walls. And lime green. I don't know. Teal, I kind of like teal. Teal balls. and lime green look hideous. I make them some kind of cream color or something nice looking. Oh, fucking plain Jane. No. I I wouldn't mind having teal walls I if I didn't one. have all that extra fucking green. I wouldn't want green, and I wouldn't want teal. Like, teal and if I did, cool. And if I did, it would be, like, see, like, like a light green, like a pretty green, not like a uh, obnoxious puke <laughs> green. Goodwill's green color is hideous. That green color they painted the walls. Yeah. I was like, ew, it looks God like God damn hot. it. Why are we talking about that place again? I looked at it. Again? No, I looked at it when they goes, and I goes, "Oh my God, it looks like vomit on the wall. Looks like the color of vomit." I was making fun. I of don't it. know. Anybody want to see my headset that I do like using on a regular on the regs? So. Did you on? He's going to put it, we're going to put his headset in his list if I can find them. Which one did you buy? Hold on. Um, I bought the Razer 7.1. I'm going to look them up. Are they wired or are they wireless? They, they're they wired. Okay. Um, I Because I bought headphones. Okay, so. Just tell me the brand name of them. Huh? Just tell me the name of the brand, the, the style of them. They're called um, Razor Kraken 7.1. I don't know if they're version 2 or version 1, though. Kraken what? Which I'm pretty sure they're version 1, or version 2. Kraken what? Razor Kraken 7.1 Surround. They're pretty much this one. So. They're $69 headphones. Uh, 80. They were 80 before. They're, six, they're 69 on Amazon. Well, they're, yeah, you're probably right. They probably are that cheap. On Amazon. No, Amazon's good for buying stuff. Well, like I said, and like I said, here's your actual headset, which this is pretty much what you get. So the microphone collapses into it so it's not like sticking out. 
There were tracks. That's kind of nice. That's one reason I actually wanted it. Because then they won't break. Because then you won't accidentally break your heads, your microphone. It's like I said. Only thing I'm like, and it does. It is a roped. Um. Uh, it's like a ropey fiber. Um. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, three point five millimeter. Ugh, fuckers. Which I love that the fact that it is actually. So I put stuff on my shopping list, and it. I told Gracie I put something on my shopping list, and she assumed I bought it for her for Christmas. So then she knew what she was getting for Christmas. Because then I know what I'm getting for Christmas. Yeah. Well, like I said, I, I went with this headset, which, like I said, if I show you guys what it looks like, it's got your Razor emblem right there. I can't oh, see. I know. God so damn. I'm gonna show something you can't with that background. Okay. So bear with me, guys. So I'm putting those on with his headphones. He's got turtle beaches and then those. I like the turtle beaches too. I like these a little bit more. They're actually a little bit nicer. I like the Turtle Beach ones I have. The one he's got, I wouldn't recommend. The one I had bought that's a little bit more money than his is a little bit better. And then the I recommend the Skull. If you're just going to use a, use a headset for um gaming or, or listening to music, I recommend the Roz, the uh, I recommend the... Uh, well, Skull I recommend... I use if, you're gonna get ones, if you want earbuds... I recommend the wireless ones that we bought. Mine are the blue ones, but his are the black. The little skull candy earbuds. I love those. I actually recommend these because they are really, really nice. And for gaming, uh, but I will literally I tell like you to, exactly like what this has in head, it. I don't want to use those kind of headsets for for listening to music. So I, I go for these. Oh, I'll this, show you the headset I have. This, this uses the full capability of uh, 7.1 surround sound to it, which is fucking amazing. These, these are what I use. These are what I use for music. Like, if Honestly, night and I really want to jam out to some music and I don't want to be too loud, these are what I use. My Skull Candies. These are Skull Candy. Um, They're really good. They're only like $40 uh, headphones, but they're the best for 40 bucks. Like I said, um, 7.1 surround sound. These are fucking Those awesome. Those sound amazing. They got cooling gel infused oval yeah, ear cushions. Yeah, but for a $40 pair of Bluetooth headphones, those are amazing. I'm not one bit, one bit disappointed with it. And plus they got 50 millimeter drivers or speakers in them, which is fucking awesome. Um. And it says something about hidden indented eyewear channels to eliminate pressure from glasses. So that that's kind of nice, the fact that they actually thought about people that wear glasses. So they don't press too hard on your... Exactly. Here's Joshua Danger's playlist. I'm going to share it for you guys. Of all the stuff that he had, and those headphones are in it, and then I'll share mine. Like. So that you guys can see the stuff that he uses on a daily basis that he recommends if you're use, going to use that kind of stuff. You know, I've went through a lot of headphones. I do like my, my uh, Turtle Beaches. Well, I... These actually said they were for PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, Switch, and Xbox One, and smartphone use. So, I kind of went with that because I, I kind of dug the idea behind trying them out as uh, headphones, too. Which actually come in really, really fucking handy. 
Um, and if I really wanted to, to I, I could actually so, possibly do so, mobile gaming I if I really like wanted to I, I kind of, with them because of that reason. The idea behind trying them out is uh, if I knew too, my phone was actually actually coming better. Our phone is a junkie. I will not recommend my phone to nobody. Yeah. I don't recommend the phone that I bought. Well, I like mine, but there are things There's that I There's a lot I of things about it that dislike. I don't like. I will be buying a new phone eventually. I don't like that phone. Like, lately I've been... Lately, I've actually been coming across um, stuff, um, and I've been having the same problem that you have with not being able to type yeah, and chat. Yeah, the keyboard, no, the keyboard is shitty on that. It doesn't oh, want to come up, and the phone freezes a lot, and you have to it close everything. It does freeze a lot. That's one thing I don't like about the Stylo 6, um... But, mine. like I said, I, I, I'm only on my phone when I have to go into work and I have to, like, and I, I do listen That's to music why I don't before use I come into much. work. That's why I'm still using my Samsung Galaxy Tab Tab A 2019 tablet because, um, I'm telling you, I fucking don't like my phone that much. That's why I don't use it that much. Yeah. Right now, I'm using my tablet to check the chat. Like, I, I've actually been using my oh, freaking yeah. desktop more to answer, um, to answer more, um, of my Facebook and stuff. I can answer my Facebook. But sometimes my, my, um, sometimes my Facebook doesn't like to chat. Yeah, the messenger doesn't like to chat. Yeah. You can't chat because you, the keyboard won't come up. And you can't send a text because half the time the keyboard won't come up. I was trying to text my aunt the other night, but the keyboard wouldn't come up. Oh, I know. And it and was pissing sometimes, me off. You have to and close. I, you have to, I even sometimes saw you have to restart the other the, night I was talking with my aunt yeah, on the phone. Yeah, sometimes you have to restart the and phone And we are going work. to... I was actually going to say, I was going into the story. I was talking to my aunt the other night, and we were we were having a conversation over Messenger, like a uh, phone call, like video, or not video chat, but phone chat. And I was like, when we decided that we were getting off the phone with each other, it wouldn't let me clock, it wouldn't let me push the off button. For it, which I had to go on and just restart the entire fucking phone, which it's annoying. That's another thing that I have a fucking problem with every so often. That's is really not being annoying. able to hit the uh, reset phone button. Or sometimes, or, or sometimes, or sometimes it won't let you. Uh, it won't bring up the uh, phone thing, so you can end your call. Oh, I know. Or it won't. Or or you can't find. Or you can't answer your call because it won't show up. Exactly. They miss your call, um, so you have to call them back. So they um, think you're so they think you're annoying, no, no, ignoring their call, but really you can't answer it because the phone's a piece of junk. Oh, I know. My sister has a bunch of problems with her phone not sending texts either. Yeah. She has the same phone, and she has a lot of problems with it. I don't recommend an LG Stylo 6. Do not get that phone. All three of the people I know that have it hate that phone. I'll never buy another LG phone again. Another Stylo's phone. I don't like them. I was going to say, I'm like, if I ever go to another phone like this, I'm like, I might actually, if I have the money, I'm going to spend up on it. I'm not getting that one. And I'm I'm gonna go to like a Galaxy S9 or something like that. I wouldn't even spend that. That or a Galaxy S9, a Galaxy they're, Note 9 or something like that. No, they're cheap. Hey, 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 hey whoever are two, uh, I think that might be us. There's a third viewer in here. I don't see a third yet. How about okay. you? Okay. 
Um, I got a big vinyl. I got a big contest coming up in February, the beginning of February. And I got a big contest. And I got a big, we got a contest coming here for once we get 50 subscribers. It's going to be on our YouTube, Dead Vision Entertainment. I got to get 500 subscribers on our YouTube and 50 on here. 50 um, just followers. We don't, we don't get subs, so we're not even looking for subs on here. We're just looking for people to follow us on here. We don't care if we get paid on here because it's not the most important thing to us. The most important thing is just to entertain you guys. Yeah. Definitely. Have you guys ever... Wait. I want all you guys to go listen to Baby Metal, the song Karate, and the song Gimme Chocolate, and tell me what you think of it. If <laughs> That's funny. Those are the... Those are some of my favorite songs. And this is my new pin if you haven't seen it. Dun. There. Wait. I was going to say, um, and if you haven't listened way, to this rapper, I listen to this if you haven't listened to this rapper, go listen to her. That's how by I the way, I, I started listening to this. The new album? Fucking epic. The Rancid album. What about the new, have you, have you went to Spotify and listened to the new Razakal album? No, but I was actually listening to it today on, um, oh, fuck. Spotify? I, I, on, um. Uh, YouTube. You can't see yourself when Is you're it, trying to show it when you got that picture. Yeah, on. I know. I forgot about that. You need to take I'll that look. off. Every time you try to show something. Because I I don't like showing my dirty ass room. Well, clean your room. Well, it's not that it's dirty. It's just fucking oddly unorganized. You need somebody to help you. I'd come help you organize it if I could. Oh, I know you would. I'm good at organization. But you'd be like, where the fuck would you put this? Well, if you don't have room for it and it's too big, get rid of it. Well, it's not that it's too fucking big. It's fucking like... It's you, oddly... I like, think you got too many big pieces of furniture and not enough room for it all. Oh, I know. But anyways, have you listened to the new Rosie Kell album? Yeah, actually, I started listening to that today, and I was there, like, dude, that's a fucking great album. A lot of people album. said that's her so one far. of her best albums to date. Like, I started listening to, like, the first four tracks of her new album, and I was just like, holy I'm blown fuck. away. I cannot wait to have that on vinyl. It should be here tomorrow. Yeah, Since definitely. Since these pins were shipped the same time, I should be able to get it tomorrow. But I also thought the weird fucking thing was... I've been listening to this rapper, rapper slash um, YouTube artist, um, YouTube streamer, I should say. Um, I, I've been listening to Corpse. And I'm like, I'm actually kind of digging his You're shit because he's obsessed. Like, he's, he's kind of like, I didn't even know who the fuck he was yesterday. And I was just like, who the fuck is this dude? And why is his voice just like this? Like, I wish that I had a voice just like this. I think he's doing like, it on purpose. Huh? He's probably doing it on purpose. He probably is, but he's also a faceless YouTuber, which is fucking cool. Yeah, that's what your nephew should be, is a faceless YouTuber. <laughs> that, that would be a fucking oh, great, great gimmick, great. actually. Like, if, if I would have actually known that I, I could get fucking stream, get people to watch me for being a faceless streamer, fuck, I, I probably could have done it probably 10, 12 years ago when, or how long ago was it we started? Yeah, but you couldn't stream five years ago. Yeah, but I'm just saying, if I would have done faceless videos and probably gotten away with it fucking years ago just going around years like ago, I, i've they, actually they thought about live streaming years ago though I, i'm just saying i'm like i'm not bringing up the point of live streaming i'm like dude i'm like honestly i would have probably gone around wearing a fucking i probably would have gone around wearing a fucking wrestling mask <laughs> everywhere no, I'm not, a lucha libre mask yes 
And if I would have actually really thought about my my um my YouTube creator, I probably would have gone underneath the name Al Bueno, the Albino Mexican. Which everybody's like, dude, that that's a fucking great gimmick. But you're not albino. But I am a I am part Mexican, so technically I could be albino. I could be an albino Mexican. You're a weird. AK El Bueno. You are a weird one. <laughs> I'm like I I've always thought about my wrestling angles for my entire career, and I was like even with um bring big baby bring big baby bring big baby J is money. Like, uh, God, I, I could literally get away with gimmick infringement on myself with everything. You are a nut. <laughs> literally, if I could trademark every wrestling oh gimmick God. I've ever had, I would be a fucking millionaire by now. Which, sure. don't get me wrong, I'm like, the whole Joshua Danger gimmick obviously came from Archer. Um El Bueno. I'm I'm not Corpse Daddy. I'm not giving out that one yet. <laughs> but let's just say Corpse Daddy's gonna be something fucking weird and fucking oddly funny. It only costs seventy cents for her to send those two pins. But you wanna know what's funny? I'm like, honestly, I've thought about going underneath the mask again and just start doing my masked commentary, doing my masked videos on here. Just do my mask and it. God damn it. I need to find my Batman mask. It's probably somewhere in your dirty ass room. <laughs> it probably is. And I was like, God damn. But you, then again, see, I that's why you need a tote for box. props. You need a, you need to get, you know what you need to do when you get a computer, get a, uh, desk is put put a small like tote with drawers underneath it since you're not gonna have drawers actually that's a fucking brilliant idea and actually. uh and uh put your props in one drawer and then all your computer stuff in the other drawer drawers just get a short skinny one yeah i i thought you about can get that those too. for less than um, 15 bucks I was actually going to say, I'm like, honestly, I, I want to get a Lucha Libre mask again, but I'm like, and you could get them relatively cheap on Amazon, but I'm like, God damn it, man. I don't know how, I know my head's a fucking watermelon. He's got, he's got, his head's big. He's, he's like a great big guy. Uh, Shut up. Don't you fucking say it, you trash panda. He's like a watermelon. He's like two watermelons with a watermelon. That's what I think. He's like two watermelons with a great big, like, uh, mushmelon for a head. That's why I said, flip you off, homie. <laughs> But like I said, I'm like, I, I'm honestly fucking get, I, I might just start doing gimmick infringement on myself. Gimmick infringement. You're a nut. So I made because, tacos last night at 10 o'clock at night, like I, like I told you, Josh, and then I had some. This God day. damn it. You can't have fucking tacos at midnight. Oh, I had tacos damn. at 11 o'clock. God damn. Fucking tacos at 11 o'clock at night was hungry. All of a sudden, I had I had that McDonald's um quarter pounder meal after yeah. work, and then about at ten o'clock at night I started getting hungry, so I started cooking about ten. I debated for about twenty minutes, and then I said, "I'm making tacos." So I had oh, to, by the um, way, guess the what's? Meat. By the way, Jamie, guess what's free on Epic Games on the Epic Game Store? What? Magic the Gathering Arena. You know, we should we should play Matt. We should get our magic cards. God kit. damn it. Yep. That makes me want to get my magic cards out and play with you. I said Magic the Gathering Arena, dude. You can literally get that game for free on Epic Game Launcher. 
You know I love, I love, we love Magic the Gathering. We're nerds at heart, and we love Magic the Gathering, by the way. God, I would actually love to, God, if I could just find, I'm like, I, I need to make friends with Brandon Cutler of AEW, because we're the biggest fucking nerds. I no, would actually fucking play me and with you were nerds. Like, that's kind of the reason I bought Amongst, Among Us, because I want to be one of those fucking weirdo nerds. That just sits there and plays that game and be like, yeah, I'm the corpse, Eddie. So I paid my bills already. My bills are paid except for my phone bill, which comes out on the 17th, and all my streaming sites. Hey, Batgirl, guess what? I only got 90 more dollars with the bills coming out. Hey, Batgirl, guess what? what? What are you doing? God, I forgot how to do the fucking space ball fucking salute. <laughs> Oops. God, gimmick infringement. You mean the French thing that Monica and Ross used to do to each other when no. they were kids? No! I'm talking about, um, space balls. You know what that means, right? What? Oh, yeah. Smash them together, baby. It means fuck <laughs> off. It means fuck off. That's how Monica and Ross used to tell each other to fuck off so their parents wouldn't get mad enough for swearing. Hey, Batgirl, here you go. Remember this from remember that from uh the little rascals? Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> really? Really, Jamie? Oh I'm 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 gonna go on record and say this. The only people I don't know that that don't know that are probably this generation's fucking kids. My cousin's son knows it, because my cousin's son used to watch that movie, like, over and over and over. By the way, Batgirl, what do you think about me shaving my fucking beard off? You needed to. It looks way better. I now was like, god need, damn it. Now you just need a haircut. I'm actually thinking about chopping it off as soon as fucking... <laughs> I was going to say fall hits. I mean spring... I would see if you could find somebody that could cut. See if Susan can cut your hair. Actually, I probably could get my brother's girlfriend to do it, but I'd let her do it before I, before I'd have hair that was driving me. Because nuts. she is a hairstylist, so um, why don't you have her cut your hair? Because I'm attached to my hair. I'm not. Cut it off. What? You're not attached to your hair? No, I cut mine off. Remember? Of course you do. I but you let it grow it. for like fucking almost a year. Yeah, I don't like it when it grows that long. It, it's a pain in the ass to take care of. I'd go get another haircut. I'd go get a haircut after fucking coronavirus. Yeah, but you can't. I just have your brother's girlfriend cut your hair. I was going to say, she'd that's why... Do, I, she'd probably do it for my, free. After my, after my brother's ex-wife fucking, fucking giving me a bob haircut, I was like, fuck that shit. Never well, she again. She doesn't know how to do hair. Well, she said... I was like, fuck. She probably did it on purpose. <laughs> she gave me a fucking bob haircut. I'm like, what the fuck? In here. God, you remember that time fucking your sister and her ex-boyfriend <laughs> tried to get me to look like Adolf Hitler? <laughs> you were kidding. I know, but I was like, fuck. They did it as a joke. Oh, I know they did. They weren't done That was actually fucking there. hilarious, though. Like, I was actually just fucking doing that on purpose just to be like, you know what? Fuck it. You should just you should just get the Adolf Hitler mustache and shave the rest of your hair off. Your Shut face. up! We're not allowed kidding. to talk I'm about him. Just kidding! Him. I'm just kidding! Just kidding! 
I don't support Nazism. Why don't I just Nazism. go the whole nine yards and get myself the fucking haircut, too? <laughs> you should just give yourself a mohawk. You should just cut it all off and do a mohawk. Uh, you know what? Honestly, I thought about cutting it so damn, like, cutting it where it's mid-length. And just fucking bleaching my hair completely out. Don't look, do that. Just to look like a fucking gay dude. Why would you want... No, because then... I start you know, shaving my mustache. Start looking you know, like a gay dude. Then you know who would... Then you know who would start... Then you know who would start liking you even more? Like, oh my god. Look at me. Josh, <laughs> you know who would like you even more if you did that? Shut up. I know who would like me more if I fucking did that. DJ would really like you then. No. Actually, I talked to DJ the other day. He said, Joshy, you're getting too skinny. I'm like... You're not getting too skinny. I'm like, I gained like fucking 20 pounds. I gained 20 pounds eating McDonald's. I don't <laughs> fucking eat McDonald's. That shit is garbage. I eat McDonald's. God. I'd rather eat out of a fucking dumpster than eat McDonald's. Sorry, guys. I had to say it. What the f Oh, never mind. God damn. God damn it. Trash pandas. You're a trash panda. God damn trash pandas. Honestly, if I had that look like that, I probably would think... I would probably make people very, very uncomfortable and make them think I'm gay. Why would you want to look gay? I don't know. <laughs> I could get my, nie my oldest niece to freaking tell me what she thinks of the background. <laughs> Then again, you know what? I could picture James Charles having a fucking color scheme. No, James Charles actually has a nice looking house. Well, I want a nice looking house. I want a nice looking house. I. What are you trying to sound like, William Shatner? Yes, I do. Well, ah, weirdo. You know, you know what, you know what I think William Shatner would actually say if he heard the if he started doing redos of uh, the dog song by Blink One Eighty Two. <laughs> Do you want to hear what it would sound like? Go for it. Okay, hold on. I got to remember the lyrics. I, I'm going to dig up the lyrics real quick. <laughs> that way I don't screw this up because it's like my favorite song of all time. Okay, hold on. Okay, so. Okay. Okay, here we go. I, I'm going to do this. <laughs> okay, so. I, I'm actually getting the lyrics from Genius.com or Genius.com backslash Blink182. Fuck a dog. So. Here we go. I want to fuck a dog in his in the ass. He wants to fuck a dog in the ass. I want to fuck a dog. That's right, kids. I tried to fuck your mom in the ass. Tried to fuck your dad in the ass. Could only find the dog and his ass. <laughs> there you go. Like, no. I'm going to fuck the dog and fuck it in the ass. 
Josh, you're gonna get us kicked off of Twitter. I mean Twitter. <laughs> I know, yeah. right? So I bought this, but I haven't done it yet. You know, I bet you I could get away with doing this, actually, if we turn this into a mature-rated fucking Twitch stream. We want a fucking dog in the ass. Stop. Want a fucking dog in the ass. Stop talking about fucking dogs. Want a fucking dog. I tried to fuck a fucking pirate in the ass. Arm <laughs> and me first made you a scurvy carver. You scurvy, you cur you scur really bastard. Try to fuck a fucking pirate. <laughs> but I okay. This but chair. I the dog. Arr. This chair is so. I was no pirate man. I was thy own sister. It's a Mexican pirate. See. This is so comfortable. Do I look comfortable? Amy, stop flopping. It wasn't. It's a rocking. It's a rocker. <laughs> God damn it. You know what they say about fucking cats and rocking chairs. I'm not a cat. I was gonna say. Yeah, but you know what they say about cats and rocking chairs. Don't know. Cats get very, very uncomfortable with a room full of rocking chairs. <laughs> that makes no sense, dude. You're a nut. You know, that's why I'm so fucking high. You are a nut. Do you want to get high? No. Do you want to smoke some marijuana? I can pull my keyboard up. Do you want to? Marijuana. This is the keyboard I got in it nice. I like it. This is a really good keyboard. My mom's got a nice keyboard. Your mom's got a nice corpse. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's why they call me Corpse Daddy. Can't be Corpse Daddy because you you're not dead. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. God damn it. That, that's going to be a fucking bad fucking I can push these right arms. There. I can yeah. push the arms of this way down or I can pull them up and put my rest of my hands on it. Which is, this is so comfortable. My legs don't go numb anymore. I can reach the floor. I'm just ergonomically set up so my <laughs> back's not all hurting. The back of this isn't hard. It's really nice and comfortable. You want to know what the best way to get a goth girl to have sex with you? Wear a bat costume. No, I was actually going to say, just call me Corpse Daddy. Because I'm going to be your daddy tonight. You're sick. <laughs> Worst pickup line ever. My mouse, if you want it, you're interested in what it looks like. Let's go look at your mouse. It's this kind of mouse. It's an HP mouse. I got an HP all in one, and I got a more expensive HP all in one because I got a I wanted a good one. I got a Caxi mouse and keyboard. And HP mice. I'll tell you one thing: HP mice are really good. Mm -hmm. HP. I'll tell you one thing: HP mice are like the best mice I've ever used. For a computer. You know, if HP Lovecraft was alive today, you know what he would say about HP computers? The gimmick fr infringement. No, it's not. It's Hewlett Packard. I know. I love Hewlett Packard computers. You just gotta you sit in this chair if... like once to see how comfortable it is before you buy one. I can't remember what fucking Lovecraft's middle name was. I know his first name was like Howard. Percy. <laughs> what does he look like? A fucking tank? Does he look like a fucking tank in Thomas's tank yard? 
God damn it. Oh, that's a joke only 90s kids will get, Doug. Early 90s kids will get the reference to. Oh, shit, he made a Thomas the Train joke. God damn it, we've only been live for an hour? God damn it. That's for Howard Phillips Lovecraft. I, I knew it was like Howard something Lovecraft, and I couldn't remember no. if it was Phillips, Philip, or um, something else. Percy. Percy. Percy the Puny Poinsettia. There's a song called Percy the Puny Poinsettia. Percy the Puny Poinsettia. I said Percy uh, the Puny Poinsettia. Get all alone on his show. I was going to say, you it's know who else way. sat alone it's on a shelf? The elf on the shelf? Yep. <laughs> I do. Because all his other brothers and sisters got freaking picked up. This lumbar support back here is That's, really comfortable. You want to know what I truly think? This lumbar support is nice. You know, I've come to terms with this, Batgirl, and you're going to think I'm batshit crazy for saying this. We, we already know you are, so what's the difference? But, so, I'm Potty literally going to say this. Taking a, I, bet, I bet you, oh, what's his face, is watching Potty Mouth Donna. Um, no. Is she even on? Yep, she's yeah. live. So is Julian, and we are, and then that's it. I want to be corpses. I never watched Julie. I don't know why. he. She's playing Fall Guys. Oh, God. That game really... God and damn And she's it. got 17 viewers. I hate that game. I'm, feel, I'm feeling... I'm really get, enjoying this chair. I, I actually hate that game more than... Than if angry this, cat. If this chair had a foot, hates story, having fun. This chair only had a foot rest on it. It would be the world's uh, most comfortable chair. Very handsome, Billy. This chair is almost as comfortable as that chair. Oh, and me. by the way, Batgirl Jamie, guess. Oh my God, fucking fat, fat fucking Will. Big Will. <laughs> He's talking. No, that is not his fucking name. I'm giving him a new fucking nickname, and it's Fat Fucking Will. It's called Tubbillard Will. No, Fat Fucking Will. You know, he's... <laughs> I, I talked to Hannah today, and she, she literally fucking told me, guess who's been talking... Get, <laughs> Our, our friend fucking Amy has been talking to big fucking Will. Again? The fat fucking Will. And guess what his, his name is on her profile? What? My daddy. God damn. Ew. I was like, fat fucking Will. Roast on toast. I was like, I He's swear to God, daddy. if that... I wouldn't want him. Ugh. Gross. You'd make me want to... You almost made me throw up a little bit. I was going to say, if, if if she wasn't in stage four fucking cancer, I think something would be fucking wrong with her. There is something wrong with her. She's got brain cancer. <laughs> God damn it. We're not allowed to fucking say that. <laughs> if you're liking Big Will, you've got something wrong with your brain. I was just saying, I was like, God damn it, fuck you, you fucking fucktards. You know what? You know what? I'm going to start fucking playing. I'm going to start streaming this week on here. What? I'm going to start streaming Left 4 Dead every night until I beat the every fucking level. <laughs> and then I'll upload to your YouTube, but I'm going to press the thing to separate them into 15-minute videos so you can get more views. Into 15-minute videos? Yeah, they have a thing button where you can where you can check it and it'll separate your videos into fifteen minute videos. And I'm gonna try it for the I'm gonna 
test it for this stream. Okay. See if it'll do it and see how it works. And but see if like it makes said, us get more views. Like, fuck, dude. We need to get so you're gonna have like eight fifteen. You're gonna have like eight fifteen minute views. Good. God damn it! Now I'm starting to get fucking hungry. Well, I'll give you a taco. You want one? Shut up. That's not fucking fair. I got I got the seasoned beef and the the yes yeah, to cheese. I know. And. Uh, Walmart salsa or some kind of salsa. Probably Chi Chi salsa because Walmart salsa is always sell sold out. Fuck salsa. Why the fuck is why the fuck is certain things sold out? Like you wanna know what weird shit is like sold out? I'm like I don't even understand why it's always sold out. It's the red enchilada sauce, mixed cans of mixed vegetables, and Walmart salsa. Those are things that are always sold out, and I'm like, I don't understand why. Like, they don't restock them. I'm like, why? Because there's a supply. There's not enough supply for the demand. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I don't understand this epidemic and the certain things that are all sold out. I'm surprised that. When did you get a new water bottle? Did you buy that on Amazon? No, I didn't actually. Where when did you, you get that as a bottle? Christmas present? I bought that at Meyer for sixteen dollars. Actually, it was like seventeen. Mine was but cheaper. I was like, "Fuck it, thirty-two ounce fucking water bottle." I was like, you know, honestly, I couldn't beat the price. I don't like I don't like metal water bottles, so I bought me a plastic. Actually, like, surprisingly, it doesn't taste that bad. Like I don't have a taste difference. Well, I well I get all uh, water in my all uh, pink and all uh, blue one. Well, like I said, I'm gonna start streaming some Left for Dead starting tomorrow, and that's gonna be my game of uh, my Wednesday game. Your Wednesday's gonna be uh watching Mandalorian. Oh duh. God damn it, man. Oh. I need to start streaming more games. Thursday, you can do it while you're off before we do this. Oh yeah. Actually I could do it tomorrow actually. What time are we doing that tomorrow? We gotta watch the Mandalorian first. Yeah, I know. So, let's say, do you want to go live at fucking 7 o'clock Or you tomorrow? can watch one episode tonight and watch the other one tomorrow. Well, I like watching them both back to back. That way, at least I have a good idea of what I'm watching. Combined. I seriously don't want to. I seriously am dreading the ending because... If Kevin Smith cried, I'm going to bawl my eyes out. You know me. I'm so sensitive. I cry at everything. Actually, I saw the ending on YouTube. And I'm not saying a damn word. Well, I already know what happens, but I don't want to know what happens. I wish somebody wouldn't have spoiled it for me because one, one person on Facebook spoiled it for me. Because fucking spoiler people are fucking assholes. They're trolls. Come here, I'll cut your hair. You're a fucking troll. I'll cut your hair right off. Fuck you, you will. I'll cut it short so you won't have to, you won't have it long. And then it'll, by the Maybe time we it haven't even hit the worst of our fucking winter yet. So that's what hats are for. Really? Actually, I have been wearing my hat more. You should like, buy. I you should have bought a Goodwill my... hat. Huh? Those Goodwill hats probably wouldn't have fit your head, anyways. Oh fuck no, they wouldn't. That's why I went across the damn street and bought my hat. Goodwill should just get an embroidery mitt. There we go. See? It's probably better than having that hair in your face. 
You should just wear that all the time. So it'll get your hair out of your face. Do I look sus to you? No, but you need to roll the rim of it up. You gotta pull down too far. I look like... I'm, I'm severely sus. You're suspect for sure. You can't even see you now. There you go, that looks better. There, that looks good. Where the fuck is my face? <laughs> oh, never mind, there it is. <laughs> there, that looks better. Is that better? See it? Pulls, you need to get a bunch of beanies and just start wearing them. You can be hipster and wear a bunch of beanies. Why do you Your head disappeared. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited to listen to my new vinyl. You see, that's why you see, that's why I I, I wanna do why I wanna get a wrestling mat. Actually, I need to talk to Evil Uno about getting a Dark Order mask on fucking on Shop AEW. Because I wanna start AEW wearing their fucking it. masks. You know, I finally just hooked my credit card up to my PayPal so I could order from Razakel's store. Cause now I now I ordered another package because I wanted more stuff. Cause I wanted some of her some of her CDs were on sale and I wanted to buy them and support her. <laughs> because I know how hard she works. Because Jimmy Jimmy said said how hard she works. At her uh, twit, at her Patreon and her music and 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 all of her store and all that, and all and all the stuff she does, she works really hard at it. And I want to put support back because I love her music. Her music makes me happy. When I'm in a pissed off mood, if I listen to Roskell, I'm I calm down. I, I, you know, when Misty worked at Goodwill, I had to listen to Roscoe like every day because I wanted to just choke her out so bad. You know, honestly, I, I was actually kind of surprised that fucking Kelsey bought me fucking brand new pants. She bought you brand new pants? Yes. I was like, yeah. Or did she get them from somebody? She bought them from Goodwill. And I was like, are you fucking serious? Why'd she do that? I thought I she hated know. us. She bought me these fucking Levi Denizens. Why? And she bought me a pair of skinny pants. Do they, oh. fit, do they even fit you? Yes, I tried them on while I was at work because Kelsey wanted to know if they were actually going to fit. And I was like, fuck, dude, these are fucking perfect. Like, I, I swear to God, I never thought I would actually ever wear skinny pants, ever. And I just looked at it like, oh. Hmm. And I was like, man, I, I've got some fucking nice ass calves. You're, you're nutty. I love Levi's. They're my favorite pants. I almost want to go order me my two pair of Levi's I want. what you do, buy you two pair? Yeah, she bought me like two pair. And I was just like, are you fucking serious? That's fucking awesome. She probably thinks I did you're, tell her she thank probably you for poor. Because I kind of am poor. I love Levi's. They're my favorite. Well, these ones are good, good fellas. Or good fellow pants. And I'm like, <laughs> she bought me fucking skinny jeans. And I was just like, um, I want to have to be careful wearing those to fucking work. Why? Because... <laughs> So now, you like, get, now you actually got three pairs of pants so you can actually change your pants. Yes. So you're not going to be wearing them dirty pants. You're going to wash those dirty pants before you wear them again. Oh, yeah, definitely. But I was like, holy shit, fucking skinny jeans. I'm glad. 
I can't believe she did that. That was unexpected. You know, everybody kind of said that, and I was like, man, you know what? She does do nice stuff for some people. And, you know... <laughs> I was actually wearing the skinny jeans for part of... For, like, part of the rest of my day because I wanted to fucking prove to Kelsey I was going to wear them. Okay. Just to show that I do appreciate the thought. God. But I don't know. I'm like, I, I do appreciate the sentiment from that. Ooh, game's done quick. It's playing fucking Hades. God I'm damn gonna it. I'm going to start doing your videos in, in 80, in 15 minute increments if you do too long of a stream because otherwise you don't get no views. Why don't you do them in 30s? Can't. They don't give you an option. Uh, it's 15 minute videos. Well, like I said, I'm like, shit. I, I thought, like, I, I've been playing too much American Truck Simulator because I just want to keep leveling up. But I need to go through every fucking game I've bought and just start fucking streaming all of them. Which I'm actually going to start streaming SnowRunner a little bit here and there. Just to see, like... But I don't want you to upload them every fucking day, Jamie. I only want to do like one video a, a week. No, but if you, but whatever you're doing, I'm gonna upload them all so you can have more videos. Yes, but I don't want you to upload them all at once. Like, oh, this is all he's gonna do on his channel. I'm yeah, like, but no, yeah, I, but you gotta upload them. You gotta upload them fast because they don't last very long on your channel. Yes, but if you upload them episode by episode, you probably could get away with it. But Josh, what I'm saying is, I don't want to uh, upload, I don't want to wait too long to upload them. That's why I do them right away. Yeah, I know. Or even if I do like, actually, you know what? If you do them in like 15 minute episode, like, Depending on how far you get along in the games. Like, I, I bought the first two Left 4 Dead games. And I think I only paid, like, five bucks for both of them. If you, Actually, if you it was like a three video that's less than an hour, then I'll just up. upload it. But it by itself. But if it's too long, I'm going to upload it by 15 minutes. Because otherwise, well, you've got one thing, super long Left video games, and you can't get any views. The Left 4 Dead games? I, God. I started playing the one the other day. And I was just like, God damn. You it took me almost it. an hour and a half just to do fucking. It took me an hour and a half just to do one fucking level, like you not one. You should have streamed that. One of the main. I I thought about doing it, do. You? But like I said, Cyberpunk's gonna be complete opposite when I fucking really start streaming that because you need to start streaming it. All the games you play, you be like JC Muse. Every time you game, you upload. I mean, you stream it so you can have stuff. I, you know, I was if watching. If Jason Mewes some... really wanted to be cool, he would upload. He would re-upload it all to YouTube so people could go to a channel and watch it all back. Yeah. And just have it in 15-minute increments so he could have lots of videos. He could have a thousand videos in no time. You know, that's the benefit of Among Us. Like the games don't last very long. He plays Among Us all the time. Like, the games don't last that long, but A lot dude. of people watch Among Us. Oh, of course they do. Among Us is a fucking great game. Like, I can't believe Parker doesn't fucking watch Twitch. Like, he watches YouTube more than he watches Twitch. And I was okay. like, man, are you fucking serious? But there's more people playing gaming on Twitch than there is um. Oh, I YouTube. know. And there's not very many people that play Rainbow Six either. And you can actually, and you can actually watch people. Uh, 
You can actually talk to people. That's what I meant to say. On here, when they're on YouTube, not to mention, you can't like, talk to them. That's pretty you... much how I found out about all of like here's here's what I'm gonna say. Most of the games I found out about that I found out most people are streaming. I found out they're streaming them through Twitch. Like the games like that I play, like American Truck Simulator. I, I that's got a pretty big fucking following, but it's like I think in they the got, game. I think they're using an app where you can stream to YouTube and uh, Twitch at the same time. Oh, I know, but Among Us is another one that That'd everybody cool just could do freaking that. plays like a motherfucker. Um, Cyberpunk's getting fucking insanely over the top fucking reviews. For our fucking There's our a lot streams. of good games out right now. Like, I, I appreciate Joe for hooking me up with a copy of uh, Cyberpunk 2077. I know you do. I was like, man, you know. You know. That's, that's why I wish that I, I had a better streaming setup. Well, you will eventually. I tell your dad that you need some money to get... You're gonna get your. You're gonna have Susan give you some of that stimulus that you already had, so you can get a uh, gaming setup. A setup. Like, I said, I there's there's a lot that I want to do, and there's like like obviously I got Sea of Thieves for us to play, us and me and my friends to play. I want to like, do start doing Sea of Thieves on here, me and you. And I was like, honestly, I bought GTA 4 because and GTA 5. I bought both of those for one reason only, because I found out about the freaking GTA roleplay, and that's ran through 5M. And I was like, dude, you know, that's cool shit, dude. What's 5M? 5M, 5M is kind of like a roleplay server. And it runs through fucking Discord servers. And basically, you fucking play... You basically do... It's GTA 5. But for role players. Which is fucking cool as shit. Which I wouldn't have known about that if I if I wasn't watching YouTubers that were doing You know what would be cool? You know what I think would be cool? Is if you could do... <clears throat> They need to make an online um, interactive with other people Sims game. You know what so I... You can play with your you friends. Know, honestly, you know what the biggest problem with that idea is, though? Too many perverts. Uh, remember that. What was that one? A second Life. A second Life was the fucking thing. Can and, he still you know, use that? That actually fucking fell off the face of the planet after so fucking long. You need something. And I like think, that. honestly, if somebody actually created something like that in an online world like that, but a game that would setting. be fucking cool again. Like, dude. The Sims, but, but online. I would love that. If you guys are game, make games, and you're making a new Sims game. What, you mean like make Sims RP? Yeah, where you where you get to Ooh. sim, then call it sim online, and they could have you be online, and then you could play with other people. You I can get think your friends there, in your game. I think there's a way to do that, and I can't figure out how. Like I, I'm gonna go YouTube that sometime in the next day or two. For I think sure. that would be a really awesome game. Honestly, I thought about buying. Hold on, I actually want to see if that's still on sale. <laughs> yeah. You said it now. It's God not. damn it, Jamie. It's not. No, because I saw it online the other day for like four dollars. I paid seventeen. Four or five I bucks. Bought the extra pack. My so my dude died. So my dude died now. <laughs> really? So now I got a second wife and his daughter live. Oh, fuck that. Nope. It's back up to $39.99. I'll wait for the next sale. I, God damn it. I should have bought it yesterday. I didn't realize I still had money. 
still got lots of money. What's on specials? Let's find got, out. Already got, got State of Decay dollars. too. Um. Oh, God damn it! Really? You get paid on Friday too. Fucking State of Decay and State of Decay. Um, the original. It's on sale for four ninety nine. Uh, do 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 Really, Cobra Kai: The Karate Kid Saga continues for sixteen ninety nine. Fuck I that shit. I wouldn't play that. I'm not even watching that show. I don't feel like it. It doesn't appeal to me. It feels like a rehashed up bunch of junk. Okay, I'm actually going through this entire fucking list of what's on sale, and it's all... God damn. There is literally fucking nothing that looks even appealing to me. I know. We you know, three, that's why I love people Steam. people watching our I, I thought about doing... I, I thought about... And you're gonna think I'm fucking nuts for, for saying this, but I actually thought about just taking that, uh... That gift card I got from Goodwill and just putting it onto part of it onto a Steam card. Buying a Steam card with it. You should just go buy your Xbox Live card with it. I've got that for another fucking two months almost. I know. I just go buy two Xbox Live cards and put them on there, then you won't have to worry about it. You only have to spend five bucks. Story, really? Story of Heaven and Hell? I, I think... Oh, fuck that. Nope. Next time I go to Myers, I'm going to put that Myers card in my wallet so I don't freaking lose it. Why? Did you get yours? Yeah. Fucking A. That's awesome. I can't believe they gave us 20 really? Myers cards and two free. Oh, here shirts. we go, Jamie. <laughs> For 59 cents, they have the bus driver simulator. Hungarian legend. That sounds stupid. God, doesn't it? You know what game is hard as Farm Simulator? <laughs> you know fucking people play that online? I know it's hard. I got it on my Xbox. <laughs> no, people play that online on the PC. And they, they stream play. that shit. <laughs> I can't figure like, out. I, I can't this, figure it, out how to plow or whatever it is you need to do. I found this one YouTuber that fucking streams to Twitch that does fucking um American Truck Simulator, and he's like him and a bunch of his buddies have a Discord server that they play that on. And I was like, I was like, dude, that's so fucking cool, though. Sure. That so, game is not that hard to play, Jamie. Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to get... I couldn't figure it out is, how to do stuff. Um, Jamie, you don't even want to know what I just found. What? Adolf Hitler Humiliation Simulator. Joshua. <laughs> God damn it, I might have to buy this. It's only 50 cents. God damn it. There we go. Fuck it. I'm buying it. Fuck it. Chug it. Football. Am I wrong for wanting to fucking torture Hitler? No. God damn. It's only 50 fucking cents. They told my nephew. My nephew told me he's not allowed to draw Hitler. Hit. He's not allowed to draw not. Not. Um, what's swastikas? Because they mean you hate Jews and black people. Because he was okay, drawing all, it. he was drawing all, he was drawing, oh, that, he, was drawing he was drawing German Nazis, he was drawing German soldiers, World War Two soldiers. Oh shit! My nephew loves to draw. <laughs> he'll he'll take a gun and draw it, like the like the perfect perfect drawing of a gun. 
he makes God guns. damn it. My dad lets him make guns out of wood. That look like real guns. You mean rubber band guns? Not rubber band guns. You know, we've been getting a lot of those lately. I saw one of those. I go, that's what my dad and Gracie need to shoot each other with. I should buy them some rubber band guns. What the <laughs> fuck is SNKL Studio? They're like studio? obsessed with shooting rubber bands at each other for some reason. My dad's got a whole bunch of rubber bands at the house for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Jamie, are you taking the... What? Am I what? Um, um, I do not want to know what I just fucking found, Jamie. What? I found a fucking RPG simulation game called Hentai Vampire. Hentai. No, that's sexual. Vampire. Hentai sex. God damn it, Jamie. Wonder if I can find Second Life on here. I'm gonna put the package <laughs> in my jacket on here. No. Nope. Bang, bang. And Rancid Slayer, ACDC, Nirvana, a guitar, Led Zeppelin, Ozzy Slayer, and Rancid. Ooh, that, the Smiths. And Patch. I was looking for the one I bought. That's not the one I bought. What the fuck is Universe Sandbox? I'm going to see if I can go back in time and get the ones I bought on here onto my collection of stuff. Because Joshua Danger gets kicked in the butt. Joshua Danger gets smacked in the face with a Kindle stick. Kindling. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna throw a log of wood at you and then hit you in the face with it. That's not very nice. I mean, you know I'm just kidding, right? I would never really do that. Yep. Homie. You know, it's all good and fun it's all good and fun until another man smacks another man in the face with a kendo stick. Then it becomes an ass-kicking contest. <laughs> I bought Gracie a shit ton of scrunchies that one time. They were all velvet scrunchies. And velvet scrunchies are like five bucks a piece, and I paid like eight bucks for them. And they were huh, like 40 of them. A. There was like 40 of them. God damn it. Jamie, I bought a frick I bought Adolf Adolf Hitler's freaking humiliation simulator. Why? God damn it. What the fuck is wrong with me? I want to put my towel rack on it because I really love it. Jamie, I suggest you buy that game. Stop making me out to be like a racist person. What? It's not racist to freaking shove a pineapple up Hitler's ass. I would shove a pineapple. I deserve it. God, famous words of uh, fucking Adam Sandler. I'm just saying, I'm like... I had to buy the humili Adolf Hitler sim Adolf Hitler humiliation simulator. <laughs> you bastard.
God, you imagine how many fucking dirty looks I would get if I started playing that on Twitch? <laughs> like, what the fuck is this game? <laughs> and why does that dude look like Hitler? Uh, because I'm humiliating Hitler. I love like, humiliating Hitler. He deserves it. Fucking bondage. That's like fucking bondage porn for, for Hitler. I love it. I love Ew. watching the history you know what? and saying that brings well, this me is to what a we should fucking do. Point. That brings me to a point. You know what? I want to do a fan fiction. I, I want to do a fan fiction story <laughs> where I, I go around just humiliating Hitler, whapping him in the ding dong with a fucking riding crop. <laughs> Ooh, you are so wrong <laughs> for that. Shut up, Jamie. <laughs> That's not fucking nice. Mm, here's my patches that, I bought. But you know what that is? That's spicy. Currently unavailable. You cannot buy the patches I bought no more. Earn it. I'm not going to put them on there then. I'll put my other ones on there if they're available. The Led Zeppelin Beatles and Pink Floyd. I definitely recommend buying patches that you love. I think I will put my Real Quick Express up there if I don't. That's what I think about doing a fan fiction. Doing a fan fiction story about it. Whapping Hitler in the ding dong. That's spicy! You're such a dick. Why? Can I go around and say spicy? Why? Because fucking humiliation's fucking great. Well, I was going to say, don't you enjoy watching people suffer? I enjoy well, people that enjoy deserve suffering. People suffer. Like I said, we've got three people fucking watching. Yep. They just don't like to talk to us. That's fine. I, I'm perfectly happy with that. Fearless Fred Fury is only nine bucks. On what? Amazon. On CD? On... Yeah. Oh, fuck that. That's the last CD I bought. I'd rather have it on vinyl. Well, they don't put it on vinyl. Oh, we got four! We got four now! Hey, what's up, my fourth viewer? Hi! We love you! Really? We love you? I hope you're having a spicy day, y'all. I want to get my oh. sofa arm table up there because I love that thing. Okay. I want yeah. the exact one I got. This one. No, that's too expensive. Mine wasn't that expensive. Why are they 20 20 bucks now? I paid like 10 for mine. $20 for what? My sofa table. Man! Now you know how they got that sofa arm table? Yeah? They, they've only got one left. Because I bought that because it's awesome. That stuff over there, and I don't have it falling all over the floor. Well, let's get tied to the post. That's like, Tommy, my, favorite, to the that's like the favorite, post. my favorite, one of my favorite things I bought. I bought that when I was living with my sister because I've always dropped in my, my controllers to my, my controllers to my TV and my, uh, whatchamacallit. My controller to the TV and my, uh, um, 
What? what? How's it going, Fort? Or actually, we lost our fourth viewer. That's it would have been right. nice to have a fourth viewer. That would have been nice if they talked to us. Yeah, but you know what? It's time to say fuck off. So, anyways, I wanted to put, put that. I put that sofa table chair table table thing on there as a part of my stuff I love because um it's a good house that's that's one of the best things I've bought in for my house right. since I moved into my since since I've had it that because you don't drop you could set a drink up there and you could set your uh and it doesn't fall on the floor and it's got a lip on it so you don't drop all your it's got a ledge on it so it doesn't drop all your controllers on the floor hey. So you have somewhere to set your controllers or set set your phone next to you so it's not falling off the arm of the chair. I was always setting stuff on the arm of the chair and it was always falling all over the floor and it was driving me batty. Better than bad girl Jamie likes to get used to. What? Yeah, so. I did that and I love it. You know... You know what I've noticed? You can't buy... Do you notice that you haven't, since pandemic's been around, they haven't really had Perel in the store? Yeah, kind of. I noticed that. I'm like, what happened to Perel? You can't buy Perel hand sanitizer now? It's only Suave. Now Suave has hand sanitizer. And it's little and it's expensive for that little bottle of hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizers, the cost of hand sanitizers went up. Oh, of course it has. I wonder if you can find my keyboard and mouse on here. I don't know if you can or not. But, like I said, hey, what's up, everybody? What Nothing up? Nothing with here. It's got to be the same. Oh, uh, shit. God damn, I'm getting hungry. Got it, hungry. Wow, they got they got purple ones. I don't want. It's got to be an HP one, and it's got to be the same one I have. It wouldn't it wouldn't be cool to tell them to buy something I don't have. Well, by the way, my brother actually did say he wants that computer, but he's like. I was like, man, I told him, I was like, my, my co-worker Joe says it's a horrible time to fucking buy computer parts right now because they're so fucking limited. Yeah, because... Why don't they have HP? I asked my brother, I'm like, why don't you just buy why don't you just buy the parts like the smaller parts that you need for yours? Build it inside of yours. And he's like, Well, I need a case. And I was like and I'm like, oh fuck. You don't what have, what have, what's wrong with him? Uh his is like he's like he's got that fucking four, that five year old fucking HP gaming desktop. And he's like, he didn't want to spend the money for a fucking, an actual gaming desktop fucking five years ago because, oh, that's when, I was like, man, you should have went that route. It would have been cheaper. Five years ago, it would have been Five years ago, drive. I built you that fucking, I built you that, that potato PC. He's like, yeah, that thing was fucking cool as fuck, but he's like... That thing was, that thing only had a fucking quad-core processor in it. I was like, yeah, that's about all you need for a fucking. And I threw in a fucking, a four, a, a four gigabyte fucking graphics card. Serious? In there for next to nothing. An HP mouse and, and. Keyboard, and that's not even the same one I have. It's sixty dollars. Well, you know, anything when you HP, anything that's HP that I've ever used. 
And actually, Jamie, to be totally honest, you know, all of the parts you buy to build a computer, they actually have to honor the warranty on them. For at least three years. All I know is when you buy HP computer-like accessories, they are super nice and super quality, and I've never had a Oh, of course they are. I don't really see my my setup. They don't sell my setup separately. But as I said, Jamie, I was like, most I, I didn't realize this, but I, I've got a warranty on every part that's in my computer. That's at least three to five years guaranteed. Yeah, but you, got, yeah, but you gotta have the paperwork for it and keep uh, it. Actually, I I've got it filed online, dude. So if I if something were to go bad in it, I could get it replaced like fucking the day it gets fucking as long as it's within the three to five years. I always liked HP better than Logitech. Or else they they will exchange me if the, if that if that part isn't there anymore. Or that's not on their website. They'll give you the. Or they don't. They'll they don't the do equipment. that part anymore. They basically say they're going to ship you a, the upgraded version of what that would be. The equivalent. Yeah, the equivalent of what that would actually be. So, basically, if my if my graphics card were to go out tomorrow, I would most likely get the same graphics card. But on a version that's upgraded to it. If my processor went out a year from tomorrow, you know, most likely my warranty would actually would actually say, oh, by the way, if they said they were going to stop making the 1600 AF from Ryzen, they would upgrade me to a freaking 2600 graph or CPU. I was going to put my keyboard and mouse up there, but they don't have it. So basically, if what if whatever happens within the time frame of the warranty, limited model warranty, they basically say they're going to replace it with the newest model. Or you know, not the newest, the newest equivalent of the model. That laptop I had my mom buy is pretty nice. My brother asked me, he's like, he's like, why would you not put your processor in there? I was like, for one, uh, the processor that I would order, that I put into your bin, if I were to build yours, I, I literally said, here would be the thing, right here. I would rather have the 3600 Ryzen 3600 instead of the 1600 because that is a better equivalent of what I would pay for. Which, the 1600 if I would have bought it when I first got my uh, my unemployment, I would have paid 85 bucks for it. But I ended up paying 125 and now the processor is worth like 175 The only thing I wish about this mouse that would be different is it was I wish it was rechargeable. Yeah. Only thing I wish is that these were rechargeable. You know, honestly, I told Joe today, I was like, honestly, the fact that I love fucking Razor parts now makes me want to fucking be a loyalist to them. You mean they're accessories? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I haven't like, tried them yet. Their but headset, absolutely fucking fantastic. I do like that, uh... Beach one. Like, I have. honestly, I would. Honestly, I would probably get the headset again. What's it? I like the Turtle but Beach one. I, I know the fucking. I know Razor makes quality shit, though. They make quality shit. And I was like, I know I'm going to be paying up for their fucking keyboard and mouse because their fucking keyboard and mouse is going to be fucking pricey. 
Well, whatever you got is probably good enough for what you're going to Well, do. it's good enough, but if I literally said, I was like, honestly, I would love to upgrade everything, and plus... That's why I said I'm going to upgrade well, you can, the you fucking can, microphone. When you get wireless when you get wireless key, keyboards and mouses, they have a uh, thing for you they're USB what wireless. So it's um you're not having to have bluetooth, which is awesome. You know, honestly, I I said that's why I'm actually considering buying that fucking uh, uh microphone because I I like the look of that microphone. And I know that Razer makes quality stuff. That I'm willing to pay the 70 or whatever it costs for that, for that microphone, which I think it's 75 bucks. Just to upgrade this model with. And I was like, honestly, I, I would upgrade with that because I know the quality of having the fucking headset because this headset's fucking metal, Jamie. Like... Like, the outside of the fucking headset is fucking metal. And the in, like, the inside cuff of right where, um, all of this is, fucking metal. The fucking, uh, 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 what do you call it? The thing it? about uh, that stand you got your microphone on is it has a spot for you to hold your headphones. Oh, of course it does. But, like I said, it, it's good for that, but it's also kind of a pain in the butt. It's also kind of a pain in the butt because it's in the way of everything, too. Which is the only downfall I have with having a fucking boom stand. Like, I'm probably going to go eat tacos after this. I'm probably going to go cook me a hungry man then go to fucking bed after this. I don't know why you didn't eat dinner before. Because, like, I wasn't hungry at 6 o'clock at night. And I don't eat at, like, fucking 5 o'clock because if I go to bed hung, if I go to bed... If I eat too early, I'm, I I get fucking hungry and I wake up in the middle of the fucking night chowing down on fucking, like, on fucking hot dogs and shit. And that's I why I'm ever, like, I don't like getting up I don't in the middle ever, of the night just to I go get me something to fucking eat dogs. or a fucking burrito. I don't ever buy hot dogs. I like, don't know why. It's not, it's not like the hot dogs, it's like the brats. Those fucking microwavable brats that we get. Why did your dad like, buy a bunch of microwave foodies? He does not want to cook or what? Like he, he likes cooking every once in a while, but that's about it. Oh my god, I gotta see this. But Happy I also birthday. said, I was like, dude. <laughs> like, that shit is only good to fucking eat during the fucking middle of the night. Happy like fucking burritos and fucking hot dogs are only good to eat in the fucking middle of the night when you've got a fucking uh, hunger. Oh my god. Somebody got a video of a fish singing happy birthday. <coughs> they made a video of a fish singing happy birthday. <sighs> Holy fuck balls. Holy fuck balls, I farted because I had to poop earlier at work. That's why it stunk so bad. Oh my god, you about fucking killed her. I didn't mean to. I apologize. I said I'm sorry. <laughs> you about killed her and Kelsey. I didn't mean to. I wasn't trying to. I was like, to. holy shit. I wasn't trying to, but I really had to, I had to kind of diarrhea in the morning. Jamie, that's way too much fucking information. And now, I'm drinking a lot of water so I don't get dehydrated. You know in Europe, they don't drink as much as we do? 
Yeah, because they don't have... They have fucking portion control over in fucking Europe. Cause they, and you know England's not... You know England and Great Britain's not considered a part of Euro the Europe, Europe anymore. They're still part of Europe. No, they're not associated with Europe at all. They're still on the continent of Europe. Oh yeah, they're on the continent. They're just of not Europe, part of the. They're not part of the European Union. They they, they 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 opted out. Exactly, which they had to. Because, because they were. They were honestly wanted, the fact that they went because to Brexit, the European Union. Because the European Union. The European Union was wanting to do some crazy crap that they didn't want to follow. Yes, and the fact that they they wanted Europe European currency for them, and that was another big fucking concern. They wanted them to switch over to euros. And they they literally said it was European smarter for them to stay with Brexit because it was going to earn them more fucking money and more freedom. They're they got their own pound or whatever you call it, the English pound. Why would they want? Yeah, to I know. They're trying to force every every European Union to all be on their their um euros. Exactly. And why, it's do like, they, they, why don't we all just why don't we all just switch over to the same currency? Because the whole world. Actually, that would actually. Uh, that would actually help the, the world out. Yes, but you know that would actually fucking hurt our country. Why? Think about well, it would hurt people like me and you. Or it wouldn't hurt people like me and you, but it would hurt the fucking rich. Why? Why do you think? Because our dollar value would go fucking kaput. No, because we'd be under euros. Why does yeah, the whole I world know. just go under you? And see? our government, our government system is not based like that. And then we would have to follow fucking European Union fucking rules. If we wouldn't have that fucking freedom anymore. That, but then again, in ways I would actually fucking entitle that. Well, because they because, were weaker. Well, I would agree with it almost because of the because U fucking people over here are fucking assholes. Well, I think, oh, well, we're, we're higher than everybody else. Well, you know what? I think people over here ha have a little bit too much privilege, and they're a little bit too entitled. Exactly. So they, need to, they need to get rid of some of their sense of entitlement. Some people are pricks and use a sense of entitlement, and I don't agree with that kind of attitude. I agree with you there. I do agree with that statement, Jamie. But that would also mean our rights. Our rights would be taken away from us, too. Which do you think we should have our rights taken away from us? No, but I think some of our rights are, are too... We got too many rights. Well, I totally agree. But they would basically say, oh, like, we have like, to overrule like people everything having a right, that you guys like do. people having a right if somebody steps in the yard just to shoot them. Oh, you know that wouldn't fucking happen. That should not happen. That would not happen if we were living in the European continent. Yeah, well, what I'm saying is... If we were a European like that continent. guy that just shot that little boy. That's just fucking sick. Yeah, of course it is. But, you know, honestly, we would not have the self-defense rules that we have in, in play either. We sometimes have too much self defense and they use it to the they use it to an excuse. Well, I totally agree with you there. They sometimes take advantage of that and they they pretend. But but that also says, Oh, by the way, our gun rights are not we're not allowing this. In our We shouldn't our allow that. Country. Somebody somebody no, I somebody mean, says something you don't like take and just that pull away out a gun from and shoot everybody. them. Everybody everybody we're gonna take the rights of everything away from everybody and make up our own rules which i'm not down with that idea like i'm not down with that idea i'm down with taking away certain things that are just over like, oh, like 
n nonsensical. Like, people can cry that they're being attacked when they weren't and make up a story, and they can't prove it wrong because there's no cameras, and they shoot somebody. And they, were, they weren't doing exactly. anything. Exactly. Just because they want to kill somebody, and that's their way of getting away with it. I don't... And that shit happens every day. That's why I don't agree with it. Agree with exactly. it. Exactly. But that's why I also say, I'm like, dude, they, there's a lot of fucked up shit that happens in our country every fucking day. But we don't want to let go of our, our fucking rules because it's taking, oh, it's taking our privileges away from the ones that are actually doing good. Some of the some of their laws get some of our laws get screwed up, and people take advantage of them, and and don't don't use them for what they're for. And then and then people and then this is what I don't agree with. It's because people take okay. advantage of them, and then they have to take the law away from us, and they have to make it more stricter. And they have to change things because people people are stupid and want to do stupid shit. I was gonna say, it hurts people I'm like, like me and you that don't that but, obey the law. But here's where I'm gonna here's where I'm gonna throw the fucking what if scenario. I was like, you know, I don't think if if somebody's fucking kid walks onto your fucking property, you should have the fucking right to shoot them. But if somebody's coming onto your fucking property and trying to fight you, I think you should have the full blown fucking right to shoot them in the in their fucking place standing. Because shoot them, but if they're if they're threatening to fucking kill you, you have all the fucking power to fucking kill them. That's where I begin that statement. You know, that's where the fucking gray areas of the fucking law are fucking 100% fucking opposite of what they need to be. Yeah. That is where I you need to need draw to... that fucking line. And honestly, if I was running for state official, if I was running for a state official, that would be the first rule I would actually fucking try to get a fucking vote on. You can't and literally say, you know what? You. And. I would literally try to get this fucking thrown in. The self-defense law. Basically, if that person's not fucking threatening you, if that person's not threatening you on your property, I think you should have the fucking, you should not have the right to fucking pull a gun on them. No, if someone comes up to your house wanting to sell you something, you pull out a gun and shoot them. You shouldn't be allowed to do that. Exactly. And I was like, honestly, say, oh, they were attacking me, so they could exactly. shoot Exactly. If this person, if you <coughs> had fucking, excuse. if you had fucking threats, okay, social media being a perfect example. Social media being a perfect example. If somebody says, well, here's my fucking address. Come to my fucking house. If you tell somebody to come to your house and you purposely let them in your house so you can shoot them. Because you're mad at them. No, I'm not saying, but if that, I'm not saying I'm going to fucking pull a fucking gun on them as soon as I invite them. I, I want to hash this out with them. But if this guy fucking comes to your house threatening you, you should have all the fucking power in the fucking world well, to fucking blow his your, fucking face well, off. Well, the thing is, you shouldn't be giving them your address, and it shouldn't escalate that far. But if I'm just saying, that far, I'm like, dude, close. I would love to fucking hash this out with you as a person. You should have the right to hash it out with them as a person. That is where I, I, I feel like very, very strong about my opinions. Because you should be able to have a conversation with a person before coming to the judgment that, oh, this dude's going to fucking blow my face off. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Which I know it sounds fucking retarded, but that's where I'm at with this. And it's like, dude, 
this is the problem with fucking people. They don't want to hash this shit out. They just want to fucking go on here, troll the fucking internet. Well, people and need just... to, what the problem is, is people need to quit trolling people and, and shut their mouth and mind their own business. That's why, this is where I'm going to coin this fucking term. And if somebody actually wants to fucking trademark this, be my oh, guest. Yes. Don't be a troll, but control, control, control yourself to not be a troll. The narrative, control the narrative of the situation. If somebody's like, trolling, you just be, block them. Don't, don't be a, be troll. a human being, be a human being first. Be a human being and stop trolling people. Exactly. I agree with you. That's where I, I actually have a lot of fucking beliefs. With that. And I'm like, dude, that's Rastafarianism and its finest. Because people always look at Rastafarianism and they say, oh, that's some bullshit. I was like, no, actually, Rastafarian people are actually kind of peaceful until they're pushed into a fucking corner. Then guess what happens? Yeah. All the fucking right. Because people need to stop being bullies and trolls. And it's like, we live in a fucking society of fucking bullies. Which, you know, there's this dude that actually says, he's like, I don't want kids to, to quit fucking school, but I want you to learn the fucking mistake. And this dude's name is Boy in a Band. He literally said in a fucking rap song, and he's like, they don't teach... They teach you the bare essentials. That they, they're, the schools are trying to test you to see how well you follow order instead of being able to teach them what they need to survive. It's like, dude, we don't need every, every other country's fucking... We don't need every other buddy, every other country's fucking beliefs in our fucking, in our soup. Exactly. And it's like, dude, if, if we wanted to be more like fucking China, we could be more like fucking China with their fucking school system. But, oh, the school system is so flawed because of this reason alone. And, you know... This is where the fucking term comes from. They don't want to teach kids what they need to know to survive. They want to teach them how to be subservient and submissive to the system. And I'm like, dude, I'm not one of those people that's like, you know, honestly... When somebody of mine and your brain set, Jamie, gets fucking elected into fucking office, guess what the first thing that's going to fucking go is? They're going to point out all of the wrongs that are wrong with the social situations yeah, because of everything. And I think we're a lot closer now. Because they would... Uh that we would we would say that we need to get rid we need to work on getting rid of bull cyber bullies and people that are bullies and exactly. work on making stuff for punishment for it look look at that girl look at that girl that actually pulled them pulled your husband pulled your husband the same <laughs> shit your husband did at fucking Walmart got up on the fucking loudspeaker called out her fucking managers and fucking quit. Her fucking job before she was fired. She literally fucking called out and basically said, you know what? She called out all of her fucking managers. For being bullies. Exactly. I'm like, dude, you know, honestly, if we were to go into work tomorrow, somebody actually said something derogatory towards us. And we pulled that shit. I bet you if we fall, if if we actually got on the fucking camera and actually spray painted a fucking sign that said, our manager is it's fucking bullying, bullying us. He or kind of is. Freaking, 
Are we actually fucking? When they're telling us to whispered into the fucking whispered into the fucking microphone of the fucking cameras, and said, "Oh, by the way, this is what happened." Blah blah blah. Well, basically, basically they're wanting us to. They're wanting us to. They're wanting to raise the prices, and then uh. No, 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 I'm not talking about that, Jamie. No, no, I'm not talking about that. I am actually talking about the Fairness Act. Now, we have all the right to go to HR. HR gives us help. unfit. Like, if we're deemed unfit to work in a place by social standards, we have all the right to take... We have all the right to take legal ramification. But they could get big trouble against... for that. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Goodwill would fire our manager before they'd let it go to a lawsuit. Oh, exactly. And I'm like... But they're getting away with bullying people, and I don't think that's fair. But I'm just... I'm not saying Goodwill in general. I'm saying the fact that that girl did what she did in a fucking Texas Walmart... And she called out her fucking managers the way that that came out. Well, the managers like, should be that bullying is their employees. Perfect. That is a perfect destruction perfect plan right there. To set up a manager to fucking to destroy a manager's life. Well, they should be. Just because you're a manager don't mean you need to treat your employees like they're garbage. That's why I believe that if you're sitting there fucking trolling somebody, you they should have all it. the right to fucking demean them. If they're demeaning you. That's why, that's where I'm actually going on record and I'm actually saying, if you're going to put my name in your mouth, put some respect behind it. That's why I'm yeah, always well, saying, I just think put it's some damn right. respect behind my name. You're going to put my name in your mouth. Well, if you can't respect people, then you need to stop the internet. It's not even the internet. It's and you need, fucking and you, and everything, you, and Jamie. And you need it. The biggest problem is it's everything. Wherever you it's go. everything and everywhere. My my thing is, wherever you I go. You can call me my My problem is, is you need to be respectful wherever you go, whether it's in public or online. You're respectful. Exactly. Don't go to the restaurant. I was going to say, if you're going to put my name, basically, if you're going to put my name in your mouth, put some damn respect on it. Because... Like I said, I'm done being that nice motherfucker that everybody knows. And I'm like, dude, you know what? Put some damn respect on my name. Well, they need to be respectful of each other. There's no reason to be disrespectful. Exactly. But that's the world we're living in. I, I believe that we should have fucking... We should respect the person that's next to us. As if much that person's as that, disrespecting you, then you have a right to say something. Exactly. If I if somebody actually said, well, you're a fucking mental case. I was like, yeah, well, you know what? At least I'm a mental case and not a fucking idiot. I should have that fucking right Doctor, to say that to him. Uh, 411, someone just heard that the rapper Dr. Dre is in ICU with brain aneurysm. Um... Did you, did you check that with Twitter? Twitter. Yes, Twitter is a fucking for that, Jamie. I don't know. Because if he's in the ICU for a fucking brain aneurysm, that's a hell of a fucking sign that you might want to check Twitter. Twitter. Yep. And yep. It's hot trending on Twitter. Music mogul Dr. Dre remains in intensive care after suffering a brain aneurysm. TMZ reported that. Oh, okay, so it's true. So we need to send prayers out to Dr. Dre, and there's my Natasha Denoni. It looks like I was gonna say, I'm like, also fucking 
God damn, man. God, this is turning out to be a fucking... God, this is turning out to be a fucking bad fucking year to start. That's the same palette I have, but the colors we are... We just so lost weird. Alexi Laiho just a fucking couple days ago, and now Dr. Dre's in fucking ICU with a fucking brain aneurysm. Jesus Christ. Then we ended fucking 2020 with fucking the wrestler fucking Brody Lee fucking passing away from some kind of lung issue, which wasn't COVID-related. I was like, God damn, man. Like, who died before that? I was like, because I swear to God. Oh, MC D or MF Doom fucking died right before is. fucking New Year's. Which, if you're not familiar with MF Doom, he was a underground rapper that was actually a talented motherfucker. I worked on a GTA, worked on a song for GTA 5. That's awesome. They got these new plugs. They make these new plugs, and they got a um, nightlight on them. And the night comes on when it's dark. Plugs. They're like they're like light switch like covers. Like a plug plug. They're like light switch covers. Okay. And they That's and they what have I meant. and they have a a night light on them. You know that's what they call those fucking giant whole holy ass fucking ear piercings. They call those plugs too. Well, yeah, but I was like, I kind of thought about covers. that for a second. They like, got new light switch covers that um have um a nightlight on them. It comes on in the dark. That would cool. be genius. You know, I had a pro. I almost ran into the wall when I first moved in here because I didn't have a nightlight. Now I got one in the bathroom and in my living room. Oh my god. Oh. But that's super awesome. You know what? I'm getting hungry, homie. All right, you know what guys, they say, when Joshy get gets here, hungry, we thank you Joshy guys for is watching. hungry. Joshy hungry. I'm going to upload this. This is going to be into 15-minute anchor bit, so 15-minute videos. So I'm going to try to just do that and see how that goes because we're, we're, our two longer videos are cutting our video views down. So I want to so, try to get better video views on these. But if you guys want to go over to Dead Vision Entertainment on YouTube and type in Dead Vision Entertainment and... Subscribe to our channel once we get to 500 and once we get to 50 followers here We're going to uh, be doing a contest where it's one piece of merch from our web store as a giveaway So help us get to that and We'll see you in our next video whoop, whoop. We'll see Have you in our next night, live everybody. stream Have a good night everybody and thanks for watching and if you're watching this from YouTube make sure you subscribe Thank you and, and hit the thumbs up if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the thumbs up, and we'll talk to y'all later. Have a nice night. Laters. Laters, and thanks for All watching. Right. There we go.